POB. They know a conviction is impossible with available evidence. Ejimako on why federal government want Inamdi Kanu to remain in custody. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline. That's we got your ears this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that IPOB, they know a conviction is pos- is impossible with available evidence. Ejimako on why the federal government want Inamdi Kanu to remain in custody. Under this, we have here that um, the the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, has questioned why the federal government is still keeping his client in detention. He claimed that the federal government is aware and it cannot secure a conviction against Kanu with the evidence currently available. Ijimako argued that it is time to end Kanu's trial saying that Kanu has been subjected to a trial by ordeal rather than a judicial process. He emphasized that the evidence against Kanu is in- insufficient for a conviction, making his continued detention unjust. Kanu was initially arrested in 2015 and granted bail in 2017. He fled to Europe following a military invasion to his residence in Abia State 2021. Kanu was rearrested in Kenya and brought back to Nigeria through an extraordinary rendition. Since his return, Kanu has appeared in various courts in Nigeria and appealed to the United Nations to secure his release. Despite court rulings granting him bail, the Nigerian government has refused to release him. However, in a video released yesterday, the lawyer detailed Kanu's ordeal from his initial arrest in 2015 through his rearrest in June 2021 in Kenya. Ijimako said, if Kanu was guilty, why has it taken so long to bring him to trial since 2017? This is not a judicial trial, but a trial by ordeal, a trial by fire, imprisonment before conviction. They want to keep him jailed because they know a conviction is impossible with the available evidence. Further complicated by the extraordinary rendition, Ijimako highlighted that a federal high court in Nigeria ruled in October 2022 that Kanu's extraordinary rendition violated his constitutional rights, awarding him 500 million naira in damages. Additionally, the United Nations and Nigerian Court of Appeal, the Federal High Court and State High Court have awarded Kanu a total of 1 billion naira, giving him four major legal victories against the Nigerian government. What more evidence do you need? This is persecution, not um, pr- prosecution. It's time to end this. On Kanu's behalf, I call on all the people of goodwill to speak up. Ijimako urge. He concluded by saying that Kanu symbolizes the un- symbolizes the injustice faced by the Igbo people and their relatives in former Eastern Nigeria since the country founding, particularly since 2015. Ijimako stressed that fighting back should have not involved violence and that is all that we have for you concerning this headline today this morning which says here that ipob they know that a conviction is impossible with available evidence ejimako on why the federal government wants in americano to remain in custody and before we move on, don't forget even if you're not a subscriber to this channel, don't forget to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Because we are looking about um Ijima um, Kor saying why the federal government wants in America to remain in custody because they know that a convention is impossible. They know that a conviction is possible because we all know the IPO believe that being arrested for over three years right now and still facing trial despite the court granting him bail. Yes, granting him bail. And the federal government are looking for ways just to persecute this man. Yes, just to uh, in, just to persecute him. But with all the evidence, they know that a conviction is not possible at all. They know that the, the conviction is not is not possible. With all this available evidence, as Ejimako is telling us that they know it is not possible with all this evidence to prove that this one is guilty. They cannot convict him. If they convict him, it will be bad. 
it will be bad it will, it, will, it will have a damage in their own reputation and yes they don't want to ruin their own reputation and looking at the comment section that I, that I have here Rabida Ahmed says here that thunder fire terrorist Kanu and his generation supporters uh, Mushmiya's people undesirable corporates in the Kanu is not a terrorist let me rephrase that yes he's not a terrorist like I know you want consider that anybody who are, who is calling the IPOB or in Ambikanu a terrorist or a terrorist organization, seriously, you can sue them to court. He's not a terrorist. He's, 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 he is an innocent man fighting for his rights in a democratic country, a country that they said that has democracy. Yes, he's a innocent innocent man fighting for his life. And Samuel Sussex says that all this is happening because this man is an Alsa terrorist, kidnapper of Boko Haram. Where was his useless name that was involved in selling drugs that was caught in the act with I don't know why these people are saying a lot of rubbish in the comment section. Where was where was in Namikano ever linked with drug activities? Where was where, where was in Namikano ever linked with drug activities? These um so called people who are writing rubbish right now, they don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they are saying. And Joseph Easy says, why can't you people just leave this man alone? What's all this for crying out loud? It's true. Leave the man alone. You guys can't even help him to solve his own problem. To solve his own problem. Because the federal government are trying their best just to persecute this man. But their best will not be enough because their best will never be enough. You cannot, you cannot persecute an innocent man in the eyes of the Lord. No, as far as God is alive, it can't happen. Or what do you guys think? Let me see your comment below in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button and the big red one and the notification bell. So anytime I have any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.